towns in this area, it, they are known as the Kweu people. Kweu people inhabit the valley area and the mountainous area of, of this section of the eastern region. The Kweus are very entrepreneurial people and they are very good business men and women. Now, when they want to start their business, they don't take into account how much money they have. They just start with their small capital so they can start with what they call, we call the briefcase shop. So they have their watches and other items. Then from there, they move to tabletop. From the tabletop, you see them in a kiosk from the kiosk to maybe one shop, and then from one shop, they get multiple of shops. Now, when you come to Accra, or uh, most part of the country, when you take out, especially in Accra, when you take out the Lebanese and the Indian shops, the rest are for the Peru people. So they are very entrepreneurial people, and they occupy this area. One unique thing about the Kuo people is that these people don't have a major festival like the other people. What they do, they celebrate Easter. And when you come to these areas during Easter time, you will really, really, really enjoy yourself. They love Easter than any other, even though they celebrate Christmas and New Year, but Easter is a big thing for the people of Kweu. And so, if you also love paragliding, you come to Ghana in December or in Easter, you will enjoy paragliding at the Etibia or the Kweu area of the Eastern region. I have a question. Yes. When you say a minimum of three months to bury someone, yeah. okay, do they embalm the body? How does the body stay? Okay. The uh, question is asked is how do we maintain the body for three months or six months or seven months? We send the body to the mark. So is there in the mark for those number of days? Uh, number of months that we want the body to stay. So it's a mark. Yeah. The mortuary, yeah. No, no, it's free. Yes, the, the mark has a fridge. So they are put in a fridge. And we have the mortuary men who take care of them. But whilst they are there, we don't just go and put them there and go to sleep and think that, oh, let three months, no. Every day, or every week somebody goes there to see what are the much man. They take care of the body well. Right. Okay, now, uh, when you say Ghanaians, you're not talking about all Ghanaians, because what about Muslims that live in this society? They have a practice of burying after one day. They wash the body and they bury it. So yes, yes. Uh, when I say Ghanaians, I am not talking in terms of religion or beliefs. I am talking about the society Ghanaian, what we do. But when it comes to religion, or it comes to belief, everybody has his belief. So even if you are a Muslim, yes, they bury you according to your Muslim belief. But they still have a funeral after that burial because the Muslims have the adwa. The, the adwa is the 40 days, and they do it big. They do that celebration. So, if, like I said before, if you die in Ghana and you want to be committed, you need to make, you need to make that clear to your family and your uh, family members, not only to your children or your wife. Because when you die, that, the body does not belong to your wife or belong to your husband. It belongs to their families. They decide what to do. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, well also means literal translation, go and die. Because 
because of the uh, travel in those times, some of them ran and won safe havens. So those are the mountains. You know, they'll see you when you're coming. So they begin to roll the, the stones. And therefore, they are difficult to defend. So when you want to attack, they say, okay, go there and you die. Yeah. So these are the Kweu people. They are the Kweu people of the Eastern region. So like I said before, they, it's made up of other tribes and ethnic groups that form the Eastern region. So we have the Kweus, we have the Achems, then we have the Ipkapems, we have the Krobos, and all that in here. So there are over hundreds of towns on top of the hills. Yes, on top of the hills. Then we have the Dwabians. The Dwabian people originally from Santi that moved and occupied what we is now known as Kuforibia. Yeah.